kaunti ya Kakamega. Wakenya wanaoishi na ulemavu wakikongamana hapa kupokea vifaa maalum vya kuwasaidia kufanya kazi kwa upesi. Shughuli hii nzima iliongozwa na mwenyekiti wa kamati ya zina ya kitaifa ya watu wanaoishi na ulemavu nchini, Profesa Julia Ojiambo, akiwaomba waliopata wazitumia kufanya kazi na kujipatia riziki. Kwa hivyo tunaomba msitumie pole pole, msitumie kwa unyenyekevu, msitumie kwa moyo wa kusema shukrani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa kuwa wengi hawapati msaada katika, katika nchi zao kama vile sisi hapa Kenya tunabarikiwa. Kwa kuwa serikali inatuongezea pesa kila siku juu na hiyo yetu tunatoa kwa hiyo rent tunapata 200 million kutoka kwa serikali. Na kuhakikisha kule amef, yule amefaidika ameungana na wakenya wengine ni mtu ambaye anajifunia kuwa mkenya. Ni mtu ambaye anachangia amani. Basi wakati huu tunataka tu kuongezea juu na yale mmesikia kuwaomba mkae na amani. Naibu speaker wa Seneti Margaret Kamar ambaye pia ni mdhamini wa azina ya kitaifa ya walemavu aliwataka walimu kutuma maombi ili kupata msaada wa kujenga shule nyingi ili kuwaamili wanaoishi na ulemavu kutoka serikali kuu. So teachers continue to apply for that grant. I am sure our team leader is going to talk about it because that's her favorite program. She launches them, she takes us around to go and launch these dormitories. And it is very good that we allow these children to, uh, to live a full life. And for them to live a full life, we must make sure that they are away from the family because a mother who has one disabled child will give that child 90% of the time and give the other children only 10%. County Commissioner wa county hiyo, John Odengo, alitoa wito kwa machifu na wasaidizi wao kuhamasisha wanajamii kutoaficha watoto walio na ulemavu huko vijijini bali wahakikishe kuwa wamepata usaidizi. Ningependa kuwazi wale administrators, especially chiefs and assistant chiefs kule nyanjani na kwamba tufanye elimu eh, kuelemishe wananchi na kwamba mtu yoyote ambao kuna mtoto mlemavu asiwe uh, asimfiche asimfungie kwa nyumba apatie huyo mtoto uh, uwezo ya kujiendelesha siku za uzuni kulingana na sensa iliyofanywa mwaka wa 2019 ilionyesha kuwa asilimia moja nukta tisa ya wanaume wanaishi na ulemavu huku asilimia mbili nukta tano ya wanawake wanaishi na ulemavu nchini Kenya. Emmanuel Maondo, Undugu TV.